This video's changed directions about four times and I almost chunked it, but this product is worth covering for better or worse. So I'm always looking for new and exciting loan products to cover. Loans that don't fall under the norm of a typical loan. And in my travels searching for new topics to cover, I came across this loan. At first, everything looked good until it fell apart. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Currency Counts where I cover all things money. So if you're new to my channel, I cover all different loan products. Bad limit credit cards, high limit credit cards, best credit cards, personal loans, side hustles, business credit, everything in between. So if that's the type of information you're looking for, you're in the right place. So along with covering the good, I also have to cover bad loan products because I don't want you to get burned. So when you're out there looking for a loan and come across some of the bad loan products I cover, you're going to remember it from Currency Counts and think, hey, let me think twice about this one. Not saying this is a bad loan product, I'll let you be the judge and I'll leave at that so the loan i'm talking about today is called grid and i'll just say i'm disappointed because i had real high hopes for this product but it was a real letdown don't forget to add disclaimer that this is your personal opinion i was getting to that british guy so i have to make the disclaimer that these are my own personal opinions because anytime i make a video like this telling the truth about credit card companies that are dealing in shady business or the terms aren't right or for whatever reason, credit card companies, fintech companies, loan companies, when I make a video like this telling the truth, I always seem to get my video taken down or they send me a letter asking me to take the video down because I'm not being truthful. I don't know how I'm not being truthful, I'm just doing the research and giving you my honest opinion. So sometimes the truth hurts. So if you have to send me a letter or go through the lengths of having to get uh, my video removed or trying to get my video removed, that tells me a lot about your company. So again, I'm making the disclaimer that these are my own personal opinions. So GRID is a lot different than a regular personal loan or a cash advance because they require no credit check. GRID has multiple products, a few of them being PayBoost, Advance, and the GRID card. With Advance, you can receive up to $200 a month with no credit check. The GRID card is a secured credit card, meaning if you deposit $500 onto that card, that's your credit limit, basically using your own money. There is 1% cash back on this card and 2% if you set up direct deposit. So if you have a debit card that's not giving you cash back, this may be a card to consider. Besides the cash back, the only thing I would use this product for is credit building. But to qualify for either, the advance of the card, you need to subscribe to Grid Plus, which is $10 a month, overriding the perk of having cash back. Because you need to spend $1,000 a month at 1% cash back to cover that $10 subscription fee. So both the Grid card and Grid Advance Pretty standard stuff, nothing special here. Most fintechs offer variations of the same features. Another feature Grid offers is income protection, which pays you up to $4,000 if you lose your job. This feature costing you $15 a month. But what made Grid different, and what I thought could have given this product huge potential, is a feature called Pay Boost. With Pay Boost, the amount you receive is based on your federal paycheck withholdings, meaning they let you access a portion of your tax refund early giving you up to $250 per pay period. And it's paid out through your regular paycheck. No side check, no advance, nothing like that. It's paid out through your regular paycheck after an adjustment is made in your payroll. And this is huge because there's no credit to qualify. Seems kind of odd, right? They're paying me through my regular paycheck. How does this work? All they're doing is sending you a W-4 form. A W-4 is an employee's withholding certificate. It tells an employee how much to withhold in federal taxes from your paycheck. And you would have filled that form out with HR when you first get hired. All right, so let me quickly explain how this works. So let's say you make $1,000 every paycheck. You get deducted about 250 every paycheck and that's every two weeks. So every month you're getting deducted $500. So at the end of the year in federal withholdings, all right, when you file your taxes, you should get a refund of about six grand, give or take, right? So what this W-4 does is it readjusts your federal withholdings. Now at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year when you file your taxes, you're not gonna get six grand anymore because you got all that money on the front, not the back end, right? It just kind of adjusts itself. So if you think, man, I got all this money in my tax refund, that's great but you're leaving a lot of money on the table when you need it every month to cover costs and different things that you need. And the reason this form works is because most people that have been at the same job for multiple years have only filed this W-4 once. What most people don't know is you can actually refile as many times as necessary and people's situations are ever changing. You get married, you get divorced, you have kids, you get a raise, whatever it is, right? So it's a good idea to refile every few years or so. And since Grid is not actually giving you a loan, you can adjust and refile the W-4 yourself. I'll leave a link in the description for the official IRS W-4. So if you're getting a big tax refund every year, five to 10 grand, what does that tell you? You need to update your W-4 because while yes, you are getting a big tax refund, one big lump sum, they're withholding more from your paycheck every month. I do agree that it's nice to get one big lump sum of money once a year, 
But if you have to go out looking for a loan because you need to make ends meet, it's even nicer getting your own money in your hands when you need it. The only difference with Grid versus filing for yourself is with Grid, you have to connect to your payroll provider asking the question, what's Grid's angle? Why offer this service if it's really nothing to offer. And why does Grid need to connect to your payroll provider? So another point marked off for Grid is as I was looking for information on PayBoost, I went on countless boards and forums. I was trying to find someone who had used this service. What I did find was a flood of negative reviews. And these reviews fall into the bottom of the barrel lender category. British guy. Worst service, just don't waste your time. I never write reviews, but Grid money is horrible. You pay $10 monthly for a $50 boost. In-app customer support doesn't work because they do not respond. I'm told I can't cancel until I pay a monthly membership fee. This just isn't good. Now it's normal that most lenders have negative reviews. It just comes with the game. Even top lenders have them. But Grid, come on, I think we can do better. If you want to help support the channel at the same time, make $100, click the link in my description to sign up for Chime. When you sign up with Chime and set up direct deposit on your new account, you'll receive $100 for doing nothing else but setting up a new bank account. So sign up for Chime, make some money, and help support the channel. So look, if you need an advance without a credit check, this might be a product to look into. But just remember all the reviews and the monthly subscription fee of $10. But the pay boost feature, I'd personally stay away from. So I want to thank everybody for watching. All my subs for their continued support. Links in description. Check you on the next one.